welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. It's a while since we looked at a Jallo film, and from its title down, Death Walks at Midnight, which you can stream on Shudder, fulfills the basics of the genre. Pretty girls. So come to bed now. Bloody murder. Stop it! And impenetrable mystery. All wrapped up in a world of 70s style. The film opens with model Valentina doing a favour for her sometime boyfriend, journalist Joe Baldy. For an experiment with a new mind-bending drug, H-D-S. Trying out a new recreational drug on two conditions. Hey, doctor, this stuff you're giving me, there's no risk in taking it. Tell me the truth. The doctor assures her it will do no harm. Secondly... Oh, Joe, be sure my face isn't seen there. As a model, she doesn't want anyone to know it's her, and Joe assures her of anonymity. But once the drug is in... Valentina, any special pleasures? He instantly goes back on his word, and... The model tells all about new hallucinogenic drug. Losing Valentina her job. But, while she is under the influence, she has a strange vision. Which swiftly turns violent. I doubt it will come as a shock to anyone to learn that she soon starts seeing the killer in real life. Or that what she saw in her hallucination seems to have been a real murder. In this building, a young woman actually was murdered by someone using a weird knife. Nor do I think it will come as a surprise to learn that no one believes her. You think I'm lying? What makes Death Walks at Midnight interesting and a bit different is that their disbelief goes beyond the usual no one believes the victim trope. The junk you took is breaking down your mind. Her condition when she had this vision obviously contributes, but it's more than that. And hey, listen, if you and your friend go on making up junk to increase that magazine's circulation, I'll arrest the two of you for simulating a crime. There's an assumption that she's making this up for publicity. Her whole lifestyle prejudices others against her. Drink, drugs, various male friends. She's one of those people. If she's not making it up to get attention, then she probably dreamed the whole thing while she was stoned. You're Milan's most famous drug addict. That concept of her fame, of being part of that scene, working against Valentina, is the most interesting thing in the movie. Set up very well in that opening scene, which is the best scene in the movie. And it's a shame to report that the rest doesn't quite deliver. I'm in danger. Aren't we all dear of being bored to death? As we've noted before, the excessive mystery of Giallo only works when you have strong characters to engage with because, God knows, you won't follow the plot. You will learn the truth once and for all. You won't, it's Giallo. And that wouldn't matter, except that this lacks the strong character at the centre to drag you through the innumerable twists and turns, red herrings and outright nonsense that defy explanation. No, I didn't do it. I can tell you who did. Valentina has the potential to do that, but in the end, her character is the lifestyle, nothing more. While her boyfriends are just horrible. It also lacks the eccentric side characters that bring these films to life. You had him off over there. <laughs> it's a great setup, and although it lacks the style of the best Jello films, it's not without its charms. But it could have been more, and in the end, I did lose interest. Thanks for watching. The destructive power of fame and attendant lifestyle has been a film favourite for over a century. What are the best and worst films to tackle it? Let us know in the comments below.